When we were young and growing up in the outdoors, we weren't dreaming about trophy racks and record books. We were just dreaming about adventures. Well, look before the crack of dawn, I got my real tree camo and scent block on. My kids right beside me in my tree stand, clutching that 243 from my old man. like to thank our sponsors, h h Shooting Sports, Cook, Feed, and Outdoor, Lucky Lure Tackle, Central New Holland, Auto yes, FX, the Jackson's Auto Family, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Kingfisher, and Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and, and Enid. Hey Travis, what's the weight capacity of a one-ton billy? Uh, the GVWR is 14,000 pounds. Oh yeah. Hey Travis, what's the max towing capacity of a half ton? Uh, 13,200 pounds on the 6.2 RST. Nice thing. Hey Travis, what's the bait capacity of a long wheel base? 89 cubic feet. Gotcha. Hey Travis, what's the full number of pot? Uh, 3.145926535589793. Two three eight four six two four four three three eight seven nine five zero two eight eight six five three five five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two four four three three eight. What's up guys, Justin with h and Shooting Sports and we just wanted to take a minute and talk about getting in now. Now is the time to get ready for archery season. We have a few months to get ready. Sometimes guys don't understand that they need to get strings and cables for their bow and sometimes it can take up to three weeks just to get that equipment in. We'd like to encourage you to get in here so we can get your setups taken care of in a timely manner. Steve, myself, and the staff here at h and Shooting Sports are very passionate about getting the right setup for you, so make sure you come with some time. The nice thing about h and Shooting Sports is we have the For You Cafe, so if you come with an appetite, we can get you taken care of there too. So come in, check out the new, a lot of new accessories um, that we've been bringing in from ATA so we can get you set up. Do you want to take your boat to the next level? Auto FX and El Reno can do it. Auto FX of El Reno, designed and fabricated this fully submersible LED light rail from the bottom of this boat trailer. Not only making it look like one of a kind, but also easy to look. Auto FX El Reno, they can take it to the next level. Welcome to Red Dirt Roots Outdoors TV. On today's show, we're going with Brad Yules of Red Dirt Waterfowl and Shannon Newsom of Your Way Guide Service. Now, if you watch the show very long, you've seen Brad puts together youth waterfowl hunts. Well, this year he did something a little different. He got with Shannon Newsom of Your Way Guide Service and he set up a guided striper fishing trip for six kids. You excited? Yes, sir. Ready to go fishing? Yes, sir. This. Mom, if you're watching this, record this. I want to watch it. To win this trip, what they had to do was at Payola School, they had an essay contest, and they picked out the top six essays of writing why they wanted to go to strike the fish. Well, once they got everybody loaded up, they were ready to head out. And Shannon took the time to do a little celebrity tour guide, showing them where Blake Shelton's summer home was on the lake. White house right there? Yep. That's his. He lives there? Well, it's his weekend house. That's pretty cool. The white one with the three little cabins in the back? Yeah.
Now, I'm going to apologize right before we get into the show very much further. You're going to hear a constant banging. That's called a thumper. And although it's very annoying, it sure does draw in the fig. It's literally a rubber mallet hammer that's in a little aluminum box that sits in the bottom of the boat. And it goes non-stop. After a while, you kind of learn to block it out, but it takes a while. Well, on a little quick instruction on how to get the depth set, the kids are off the fishing. Let me back it up a little bit here and explain how the morning started out. It didn't start out quite as smooth as I would have liked. On the way down, the boat they were towing had a blowout. Then, the spare tire they put down had a blowout. So we didn't get started till much later than what we expected to. And I've been striper fishing on Texoma many times. And this time of the year, if you're not started off first thing in the morning, the bite a lot of times is over with and the fishing is done for the day. I've got to give credit to Guide Shannon because not only did he get them consistently on fish when I saw other fishermen had already quit fishing for the day because they weren't catching anything. They caught them consistently and they caught some really big fish. But in fact, that's kind of what Shannon does. He doesn't specialize in just numbers. He specializes in finding you some big fish. And I'd say he's got it down pretty good. on video. They do fight hard. That's my first fish of the day. Four strikes. Oh, I don't know. That was oh, a good one there. 
I didn't see her that good. Oh yeah, that's a good. One. I have the smallest striper right now. Oh. I got the smallest. No, you're very strong. Wait. I think you're gonna catch something. Yeah. Not that way, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I'm getting them. That's a bigger fish. That's a good fish there. That was that was bigger. Whoa. It looks better to have the fish than just your back. Hey. Twenty-seven and a half inches. Here, that's your fish. Twenty-seven and a half. I just had a fish on it. Is, is a certified big fish, and you hit 30 inches, and that's a monster. We don't waste. Oh, I'm gonna wait. We're going to. Well, we're going to at the end. We're releasing them. I got. Yeah, we're gonna let it go. Into the ice chest. Have you <laughs> seen that? About. Are you getting a bite? I was. I can't, we was just going. Doo -doo -doo. So that was probably a catfish. Yeah, it's going up yep, to the side. You need to pull it in. Oh! Is that real? Don't get ready. That's too rough. Uh, either. I think that was oh. going up. Yeah. It's okay. It's hung up on heavy on the Oh, that's a big sharper. Alright, you're on the board there, buddy. Lana is on the board. Listen, attract a buck this, get the monster that, all kinds of supplement companies for deer come and go. One old secret that'll be here for the lifetime of your hunting career. An age old secret, deer corn. Deer corn is one of the most stable things in the deer hunting market. It is resistant in the rain, it's a great energy source for deer, and it is a powerful attractant. Hello Oklahoma, this is Lane Matheson with Central New Holland. Look out your window, grass is growing, it's springtime. So a lot of people tend to ask, why a zero turn? I have a zero turn. I didn't believe it before I bought one. I had a 52 inch ride on mower and I had five acres. It would take me upwards of five hours, six hours to mow that. And then I bought a bad boy outlaw and the first time being inexperienced, and this is personal experience, everybody's experience is gonna be a little different. I went out and I mowed that five acres in three hours. So it's all the small things that add up over time that really put the zero turn way ahead of the rider style mowers. I'm getting bites. There you go.
Somebody watch my pole, Jack. There's one on there. Yeah. No worries. Something gets it. Perry, Perry, I'll catch your fish. I'll, I'll catch that. your fish for sure. I'm watching real close. Are you? She's gonna get the biggest one because she's not getting any yet. There we go. Fish on. <laughs> this isn't fair. She's catching all of them. It's a, it isn't fair for me. Running away with yours. Really? It was oh, around behind one. the boat. Ooh. It's a good one too. Jeez, she still hasn't got that thing in yet. I hope it's a big one. Yeah, it is. That guy's a good school. Y'all get ready. He's, he's still spoiling it. What? Jeez, he's, he's still, still pulling drag on her. That's a good fish. New state record. No. Come on, Evie. State record. That thing. That's a big fish. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You were just waiting oh, to catch the big oh, fish of the day. Holy. Huh? Holy. Oh, my God. Oh, got him. That is a good we knew fish. she would catch the biggest fish because she hasn't yeah, caught one yet. I don't know. It's a good fish, though. It's 26, 27 inches, I guarantee you. You was just waiting on a big fish, right? Yeah. <laughs> there they come, finally. That was probably the one that came right. and still on my bait. Desmond. That one right there in front of you just got smoked. I thought it was going all the way down. Holy crap. That is a good fish. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's getting smoked. That's about. Jasmine. Well, all right, everybody's on the board now, aren't they? Yeah. Evian's on the board for the biggest one. Except for, uh, for Brad. He hasn't caught one. Mm -hmm. I didn't fail. 30 did inches. I knew what you said. I think it's just a true monster. How much was it? 30 and a half inches. That's the biggest one. So, yeah. Big fish. What's the name of the guide service? Your way guide service. Uh, I caught this third biggest. I oh. probably got the second. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It might be a big catfish or it could be a big flathead. Yeah. Oh, it's God. a big flathead! No, it's big, big, oh, big, big strapper. No way. I hope my net's big enough for this. <laughs> Oh, I ain't joking. It looks like a flower. Why do you always have to be me and Jasmine that always That hurts so God. bad. <laughs> How many pounds is that? Oh. I bet you that goes 15, 20. That is a big. Well, my arm is dead. <laughs> That's a bad man. Yeah, that beats it. <laughs> Say something. Are you tired? <laughs> She's like, I'm done. Are you tired? <laughs> yes. Dude, you can't believe you caught that. What the yeah. hell? Good one? Ah, you got to let me up. Okay. He's taking drag. If you take drag, you can't let it go. Really? It's gone. Hey, oh, that's a good one. Bring it here. Bring it here. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Did I hit your button? Oh, that's number two. Oh, I can't 
can you buy these from? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Um, online right now. Are they not a store? Something took my bait. There you go, Avion. Thank God it wasn't Ooh. me. <laughs> that one went down pretty hard too. Hey, Kujo. Not scary, Kujo. Oh, yeah, I'll put a bigger one than mine. That's his car. There we go. Catching big ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where you're catching these big fish. Right here. No, they were over there. Okay. They were about where that came from. Oh, that is bull crap. Scott, you were. Lada's got one, huh? Lada's got one. What are you doing? Check my bait. Yeah, just put it down there. How many fish did I catch? Mm. How big is it? <coughs> 20. Oh. Oh, how much I owe you? Is that all? Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm going to have to replace your hood. Okay. Brad and them went all out for this trip. His wife, not only did she make a packed lunch for everybody, there was a message for each person on the outside of the bag. The pole's bent around the back of the boat, you got a fish. There's your sign. an adventurous day, red dirt style. I like that girl. No, Kojo. No. Is it cold? Oh, yeah. It feels good. I'm going to touch like, that after his Do you want a petty while we're at it? A what? A pedicure? <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, it's Can I punch him? It's like 90 degrees. <laughs> 99, something like that. Yeah. See? You're sitting there with your feet in the water. Yeah, but my head is burning. Never come that this time of year. And you didn't get out at sunrise because they so many times they shut off real early. I was worried about it. Uh, it did good. If I have to put it on now. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed because I knew I told him when I was leaving. We're going to be a little late. Will you hand me that? Are you all ready to quit fishing to swim? Nope. Yes. <laughs> Why do you all like swim? I want to stay here and fish, but. Maybe on that's your side. Evian no. does, that's how Evian done? fishes. She doesn't pay any attention. <laughs> I she just goes whenever the big it? fish come. That was great. Y'all even know what that that was. Y'all are tired now? Yeah. Caught enough fish that wore you out. Yep. Well, you can tell the kids were getting hot and tired. And that's when Shannon asked them if they wanted to go swim a little bit. Shannon took the time to take them to a place where they could swim off the bank a little bit. Did you have fun? Mm-hmm. Did you have fun? Yes. What yes. about you? Yes what? Definitely. De you definitely what? I did have fun here. You had fun? Yeah. Tell, tell me, what is it? What it's was bad it? for the environment. What was it? Plastic bag. Plastic bag? Yeah. And he stopped and picked it up, didn't he? Mm -hmm. That's a good guy, you know? I can't even touch him when I'm like right next to the edge. Cause I got into the lightest of sort. <laughs> what what'd you have to do to win a trip? We had to write a story and whoever wrote the best story got to go with us. What was the story about? Striper fishing. Striper yeah, fishing? Who, who did he choose? Uh, to... He chose me, Jasmine, Debbie on Skylar, and Zyla. And, and, and no, not Skyla, Lacey. Did he but... And then when it was time to go start cleaning fish, went to a dock where they could go ahead and have a little fun while Shannon and Brad did all the work.
Alright guys, guys we came down here, I connected Movie with still. Your Way Guide Service on to help me on the striper side of it and we met with him this morning. Had a blowout coming down here, but we still got here on time. He got us on some fish. Caught one go about 20 and caught eight or nine other good overs. So all the kids had a good time. So big thank you to Your Way. And what I got here is Eagle Claw sent me a couple combos for this trip. What I'm doing is biggest fish, which was Jasmine's. Got about a 20 pound striper. And then smallest fish, Palin. And then I was going to do most fish, but Jasmine got it too, so I'm going to do second biggest, which will be um, Evian's. Evian's. I was getting there. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Thank you. All right, turn around. We want to give a big thank you to Brad Ewells and his wife and family who are all involved and Shannon Newsom of Your Weight Guide Service who made this trip and a great time for the kids all possible. Thank you, Your Way Guide Service. Hey, it's David here at Lucky Lure Tackle. Hey, uh, striper fishing's been real hot here lately, guys. Early morning bite is real good on top waters. Going big old baits like the Cotton Cordell, Pencil Poppers, Juggers, the old Zara Spook, and of course, the old chug bug. Those baits work real good early in the morning. There's another chugger right there, another good one. When they go a little bit deeper, a lot of guys are throwing these big old sassy sheds, take a big old one ounce jig head, these five inch or six inch sassy sheds. We got them in like four colors. Old Roadrunner hair jigs, the big, big monster hair jigs. We got them in half ounce and one ounce. Then the spoons get real good. Worldwide spoon works real good. There's some big slabs that work real good for catching them. And if you really want to get after it, you can get the big spoons. That's the tip of the week from Lucky Bird Tackle. Would like to thank our sponsors H, H Shooting Sports, Cook Feed and Outdoor, Lucky Lure Tackle, Central New Holland. Auto yes, FX, the Jackson's Auto Family, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Kingfisher, and Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and, and Enid. But also like to thank our equipment sponsor, Caney River Calls, Buck Certified, Exo Mix, and True Products.